Hey friends, today we are hanging out in New York City and I am so excited because one of my childhood dreams is going to come true and I'm going to be staying at the Plaza Hotel just like Kevin McAllister did in Home Alone 2. I'm going to give you the full tour and show you my room and then we're going to go out and explore the city and try some of its iconic food and just have a fancy New York City kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Guest of the new celebrity, ding, dang, dong, stay at the world-renowned Plaza Hotel, New York City's most exciting hotel experience. And look at how beautiful that is. I am so excited to be here. Nestled right outside of Central Park, look at this. This is gonna be an amazing day. And just all of the statues, monuments, and buildings. I am so happy we're here. I love New York City. There are so many reasons why people love the Plaza Hotel and why it's so iconic. The history, the pop culture references, and it is just beautiful and elegant. My room tonight is a suite and the average cost for a standard basic room is $1,000 a night. And some of my favorite pop culture references, obviously Home Alone 2, and don't worry, we have some really fun surprises later on in the video, but don't forget about Eloise, The Great Gatsby, and so many others. So now we're going to head in. I'll show you the lobby and then take you up and give you a room tour and then meet up with Roosevelt's and explore the city. I am so excited for this. In my opinion, I feel like this is one of the most recognizable hotel entrances that has ever existed. And I love these old school rotating doors that they have here. And uh, yeah, here is the lobby. Look at that. We got the palm court straight ahead. This is a restaurant and it's really cool for a tea. I love it in here. I love everything about it. Holy moly. Anybody can come visit the plaza. It's open to the public and you can get something to eat at the Palm Court restaurant I just showed you, but there are tons of areas that they have roped off and security guards at and nobody's allowed to go into them even if you're staying here and I'm going to try to get into those areas because I have a little side mission. There is a special room in the back called the Oak Room that's been closed for like 30 years, but Walt Disney himself got the inspiration from Cinderella Castle in there and I want to go in and show you guys. The story goes, Walt was in uh, the Oak Room brainstorming for Walt Disney World when they were talking about the castle when he looked up at a painting and he said, that's it. That's, the, that's, the, that's how I want our castle to look in Florida. And uh, I want to try to get in that room and show you. I think we can do it. Even though it's been locked for years, I believe in us. Here is a look at the lobby that is reserved for hotel guests and residents that live here. And I love it. I think it's so cozy, very elegant. We have a bookstore over there, tons of little spots, a champagne room, and then uh, a little bar up there. And then elevators too. We're gonna be staying on the 13th floor. There's 19 floors in the hotel. And uh, of course, Eloise lives at the tippy top. But look at how awesome this elevator is. It's so old looking. I love it. You gotta use your card to actually scan in. I'm gonna cherish this card forever. Ooh. Fancy. Oh no, wow, that's our room right there, look at that. I wanna give you guys a quick room tour before I unpack and get all organized so that way you can see the room in pristine condition, but I'm so excited to be here. It is more than I've ever dreamed of. It is absolutely elegant and beautiful. They have a selection where you can watch all of the movies that were filmed here at the Plaza. They have The Great Gatsby up there right now. The Great Gatsby was filmed here and I cannot wait to watch it. This is the main living room area here. They've got some nice chairs. When I walked in, there was a bottle of Evian. Evian? And then some fresh fruit and some macaroons, some artwork on the wall. This is the kitchen and the snack bar area and the mini bar. And don't worry, I'm gonna dive into the details later on. Like I said, I just wanna show you the room before, you know, my you know suitcases are all over the place. I got a nice little desk over here. Wow, look at the detail on this desk. Oh my lanta. 
there are so many little details. I'm going to try to point out as many as I could. Uh, but like if you're paying as much as you are for this room, you got to have like the little extras. This is my view right here. Look at this. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm so excited. I know I'm, I sound really calm, but I'm trying to hold the camera really steady and I'm not trying to run around and freak out, but I am geeking out. This is literally a dream come true. I just want to sit on this couch right here in my bathrobe and I want to watch Home Alone 2 on this TV and I want to eat the snacks from the mini bar. Man, can you imagine? Wow, a huge bed just for me? This is amazing. Here's the bathroom. Look at this bathroom. Look, I'm going to take a bubble bath later on. We've got bathrobes. Bathrobes. Oh, everything in here is just so amazing. The showers are huge. The toilets. Oh, my Lord. Is that a temperature on the faucet? Can you control the temperature of the water? That is so fancy. I don't belong here, guys. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't belong here. Look at everything is just so elegant. Look at they even see the plaza on the inside of the sink. <laughs> Ooh, luxurious and spacious. How convenient. How convenient. Hey. Did you want me to put the key in the bag? Or did you just want to hang on to it? Now that we are able to give you the fancy room tour, uh, it's time to go meet up with the Roosevelt's crew. And uh, they got a special surprise for me. They told me to be down in the lobby at 11 a.m. precise. And I am so excited. They're always doing fun things. And I'm so happy that they invite me to come along. And we're going to head over to New York Comic Con, explore the city a little bit. But don't you worry. I'm coming back here tonight. And we are going to be living the Kevin McAllister dream like vacation the perfect vacation we're gonna order room service eat lots of snacks maybe jump up and down on the bed go swim in and uh, sit around in our bathrobe just like you see in the movie I'm so excited for that that's gonna be later on at the end of the night though good morning, good morning. <laughs> oh. wow Mr. Morrow, your very own cheese pizza. Would you look at that? I am so excited. If you guys have ever seen the movie Home Alone 2, yeah, obviously I've been quoting it a lot, you know that Kevin McAllister gets a limousine to take him around uh, New York and he eats a large cheese pizza and uh, we're doing it. We're, we're recreating that and I am so excited. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Hi friends. Yeah, <laughs> Since in Home Alone 2, Duncan's toy chest really doesn't exist, uh, it was based off of FAO Swartz, FAO Swartz. And uh, since we can't go to uh, Duncan's toy chest, I think we're just gonna go to Times Square and FAO Swartz. And uh, yeah, I like this a lot. I feel fancy. <laughs> Don't overthink it. I'm loving it. <laughs> like, that, it's like, like it, this, is, this is amazing. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. How much longer until we get to New York Comic Con? All right, thank you. <laughs> Say hello, New York. Hello, New York. Go to the window. <laughs> hello, New York. <laughs> you want me to hang this? Look at, I never thought. Look at us. Who would have thought? We're just roaming around New York City in a limousine from 1994 in pizza. We need music. We need Home Alone music. Now that we made it to Times Square, I kind of want to get out and take photos, be a little tourist, and explore the area. But we're not going to be here for long. I want to go do a lot of other really fun stuff and take advantage of the limo while we got it. 
A lot of people don't like coming to Times Square because it's very touristy, but I love it. I think it's so cool. I love looking at all the billboards and I love looking at all of the sights and look at the sunset. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, how are ya? Good. Yeah, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah. I love Times Square. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing a photo shoot of some of the new shirts Roosevelt has coming out. So you'll probably see me change out a couple different times. We have different hats, different jackets, different sweaters that I'll be wearing. Uh, but I want to make my way to a toy store. I want to go to a toy store. Hey, how are ya? Because the next shirt that we're going to be uh, taking photos in is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and there's pizza all over it. We walked down from Times Square to get pizza at the uh, perfect pizza. It's perfect. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. What are you getting a slice, buddy? A little slice of cheese. A little slice of cheese? Yeah, just for you. It's a New York slice, man. You were hot. You ever have the cheese like slapped down yeah, and hit the bottom of your lip and it burns all out? <laughs> That's what happened. Is it good though? Yeah. Um, this place was better. The other place is better? Mm hmm. It well, that was really fun, and now it's time to hop in the limousine and start making our way down uh, to uh, the toy store. We made it to FAO Swartz. Like I said, there's no Duncan's toy chest, but this is what it was loosely uh, based off of. Also big with Tom Hanks, he did the piano scene here. And I've never been inside this store, so I'm kind of excited. Foul shorts, foul shorts, huh? Oh, go ahead. No, you're gonna go first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This is something else. I feel like a kid in a toy store. I am so excited. There's toys flying around everywhere. All of the departments. This is beautiful. This place is so fun looking. Like, honestly, I mean, I miss the Big Toys R Us store, but this is really, really cool. Return to Wonder. Look at it. There's like things flying around. Look at these drones. There's drones just flying around inside the store. Oh. oh, I'm going wherever those lights are. We got to find the big piano, Scotty. Upstairs. Upstairs. Thank you. We're going to the piano. Oh, wow. The piano from Big. And the stores are all lit up nice, too. Welcome to our grand piano. No shoes, only socks, and absolutely no staircases. I honestly, I can't remember if I matched my socks today, so I don't know if I'm gonna be looking ridiculous or not. The moment of truth. Ah, oh, yes, I'm good to go. store is I mean I've never been here before but I love it it's not like your normal toy store where everything is brand name like a lot of the stuff I see as I'm walking around I've never even heard of and I like that it reminds me of a classic toy store and that's what I love you know is that an animatronic lion <laughs> Sadly, toy stores are on their way out because kids don't go out shopping. Everything can be bought online. And, uh, you know, it's sad. I grew up going to KB Toys, Toys R Us, and I really hope this place never closes. I'm now in my 30s, and it's the first time I came here, and it's so magical. Look at all of the like, stuffed animals, the gigantic lions, giraffes, elephants. 
This place is beautiful. Yo, this clock is winking at me. Look at that. It's winking at me. Oh, welcome to the Barbie shop. Wow. They have a song playing in here, and it's like, Welcome to our world of toys. Oh, bye bye. They just skate around. This is like the happiest place ever. I love it. Can I toss it? You toss it. Show me. Yeah? Woo! Right back at you. I love it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at all of our clothes in here. When I was telling you we were doing a photo shoot. Look at, got lots of stuff there. Oh. All right, guys. All right. We're ready. Welcome to the one and only New York Comic Con. Look at this. A nice uh, behind the scenes look before it officially opens up. It's way quiet in here. Very quiet, actually. The New York Comic Con doesn't officially start uh, until a couple of days from now, but uh, we're here setting it up, getting ready, and of course we're going to have a meet and greet here Saturday, and I'm so excited. Uh, I'll be here 2 to 4 just hanging out the booth, talking to people, and then at 12 noon we're doing a family photo. So it's going to be it's going to be fun. I love New York Comic Con, and I love just the atmosphere, you know? And here is the uh, Roosevelt's booth for New York Comic Con this year and I'm excited because it's something different because we actually have two booths but it's one. See on the back here we've got the uh, outpost where we're going to have uh, a big variety of different shirts that you can buy and it's actually really cool and then we've got the regular stand and this one's all about New York City sewers and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's why uh, one of the shirts I was wearing today during the pizza uh, was uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it looks kind of cool. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun time. Well, now the photo shoot is over and we're going to leave New York Comic Con. But I hope to see a lot of you guys on Saturday uh, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And we're going to go grab some lunch and then make our way back to the plaza. And then we're going to hang out at the hotel, take it all in and make the most of it. Because I don't think I'll ever be back again. This is the fanciest hotel I've ever stayed in. And this might be a once in a lifetime opportunity. And that's why I'm so eager to get in that room to see the painting of the castle that inspired Cinderella Castle. I've been asking around and a lot of people are like, we'll let you in there, but we don't have a key. Like it's actual key key locked and nobody has a key. So I'm just gonna keep asking. Somebody's gotta have a key. It's time to stop in for a little lunch at one of the places I've always wanted to go to in New York City. It's honestly one of the most iconic delis in the world, and that is Cats. And it's my first time, so I am so excited. I've seen so many videos, I already know the menu. Like, it's crazy when you already know the menu of a restaurant you've never been in. But uh, yeah, it's all going to change today, because I might be a regular from here on out. Cats has been around since 1898 and is known to be the best sandwich in New York City. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've always wanted to come here and I never got the chance to. And this is a very popular spot if you know anyone. A lot of people always say, oh yeah, you go to Cats. All the celebrities, all the big uh, athletes all like to come here. And uh, now I'm finally getting to come. Here it is. They have so many amazing things to choose from. I don't know which one to get. I mean, we've got the best sandwiches in New York City. They've got latkes. They've got uh, matzo ball soup, split pea soup, chicken noodle soup. I literally, I literally want everything. And it is so busy. Look at that meat. Uh, oh. They have a walk-up counter up front where you can just go in and grab a sandwich and then sit down. But in the back, you can actually have table service where somebody will come and uh, wait, uh, like uh, take care of you. And there's no reservations in here, so it's all just waiting in lines. We waited probably, what, all together 20 minutes? You, we waited outside to get inside. And then when we got inside, we waited to have table service. And I think it's kind of worth it. Looks like we got ourselves a little picture pickle service they uh brought out a plate of pickles i'm, I'm assuming it's fr like a bread service kind of like a complimentary would you like a complimentary pickle yeah i might try a pickle too 
for my appetizer, I went with the chicken noodle soup because I saw a bowl of it go by and it looked so good. And I am so happy I did. Look at that. That is, that is legit home style chicken noodle soup right there. Look at those noodles. I can't wait to try it. Oh yeah, look at that. Pipe and steam right there. Here it is. Oh, it's so good. The soup was unforgettable, and now it's time for some latkes, and uh, these latkes look huge. Look at this. Look at that. Of course, we've got sour cream and applesauce. I'm going applesauce. Where are you going? Applesauce. Applesauce. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. So hot and fresh. I feel like they just took them right out of the fryer and then brought them over here. Look at it on the inside there. Golden crispy, a little bit greasy, but uh, all potato pancakes or all latkes are. And uh, now uh, a little more applesauce. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's time for the main event. I got a full sandwich, but I went half turkey, half pastrami, and I just got the meat and potato, I mean meat and bread, uh, but there's tons of sauces and things that you can add, uh, so uh, let's dive in. Look at how massive these sandwiches are. So this is one sandwich, and uh, I just decided to go half pastrami, and like I said, half turkey. And then Scotty got roast beef. It's looking good. And then we've got some French fries and a couple of sauces too. They've got the sauce for the pastrami. Oh, I want gravy. I need gravy for the turkey. The sandwiches are so big, you can actually eat them with a fork and knife. I, honestly, I might do that. But first, I want to take at least a bite out of it like this. Get that rye bread, you know? Honestly, for this being my very first time trying pastrami, I'm nervous to see how every other pastrami is going to, like, hold up against this one. You know what I mean? This is, I'm, this is the place you want to go. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Because now, wherever I go, one's if the pastrami isn't as good. And maybe I don't like pastrami. Maybe all I like is cat's pastrami. You'll just have to keep going back in here. Cat's not the best pastrami. Yeah. It keeps me coming back for more. As I eat my roast beef. Now it's time to go for the turkey here. Mm. This is seriously a lot of food here. I know I, I know I eat a lot of food, but this is a lot of food. They brought fries and look at the fries don't even fit on the plate. They're literally overpowering. But I might have to I I might have to I might have to take some home. I think I, I should have just stuck with a full I, I should have just went full of pastrami. The turkey is good, but that is just phenomenal. You know how good one of those is gonna be later on when you're Oh, you're right. You're good, you. Cats was everything I thought it was going to be, and a little bit more. One of the things I got to point out that, honestly, it was the one of the best things I had there is the chicken noodle soup. I am still thinking about that chicken noodle soup. In fact, I almost bought another chicken noodle soup just so I can take it home with me. Uh, but then I was like, I don't need that because I already have a lot of food to take home with me. I couldn't finish all the sandwiches because that was a lot. And uh, yeah, well, we've got some latkes, we've got some french fries, and I am a regular. I feel like I'm going to be coming here every single time I come to New York City. And now it's time to head back and get all settled in at the hotel and uh, maybe explore around a little bit. Maybe just uh, explore the hotel a little bit. Right on the other side of the Palm Court, they actually have a little shopping area there and a picture of Eloise. Look at that. Who is the little girl who lives at the plaza? It's Eloise. And she's got a mailbox. I wonder if you can leave letters. Oh wow, you actually can leave letters in there. That's pretty awesome. They also have a gift shop with things that say the plaza on them. Ooh. Look at that, the plaza boutique. Comes with a bunch of stuff. This is not a drill, guys. We did it. Sorry, it's probably very echoey in here, but 
We're going into the room. We're going to see the painting. I'm doing it. I'm so excited. Oh, but I ran into somebody and he was like, hey, I like your jacket. He was like, hey, did you know? And then he told me and I was like, yes, I've been trying to get in that room all day. And he was like, I can take you right now. And he's taking me in and I'm so excited. I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm like, can you imagine Walt Disney just sitting in this room right here? I'm sure there was tables and then just sitting there discussing plans for the Florida project and then they start talking about the castle and how they want to do Cinderella's castle or Cinderella castle. And then he looks up and he says, that's it. That's the one. That's the silver tuna. We got to make our castle look like that. Not only is there beautiful paintings of castles, but also look at in here, it's amazing. Wow, all of the artwork. I'm so honored that they actually let me come in here and show you guys this, because this is breathtaking. I am so unbelievably amazed right now. It's like a dream come true for me. Have you ever seen a more beautiful thing than that right there? Wow, this is so amazing to be in here. I'm honestly starstruck. I cannot believe we got into the Oak Room. That is amazing. I literally owe the, that guy who works in the hotel so much. Thank you if you're watching this. Uh, it made the world to me, like literally. And I'm so happy that I'm able to show so many people out there. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look like Cinderella Castle? Have you heard this story before? I mean, like I said, I don't know if it's been fact checked. I looked it up. I found a bunch of new sites and all of the uh, uh, employees at the hotel like uh, they're all, they, they all talk about and they say it's true so I believe them and now it's gonna keep going and things keep on getting more better and amazing because I'm gonna go see my very first Broadway I ran into some more friends listen, look at this listen. hey your first time coming to Broadway it is it's my first time oh, yes this is a magical moment. yeah if you guys don't know pizza beer Say hi, hi, how hi. are ya? Uh, yeah, uh, we're hanging out and uh, first timers on Broadway. Shucking around. We're just shucking around. <laughs> I have never been to a Broadway show before. Well, in a like full Broadway show. I think I've seen the Epcot ones for Festival of the Arts. I also saw my sister one time uh, play a fork or a knife in uh, her high school play at uh, the Beauty and the Beast. But this is like my very first show and I am so excited. I hear lots of great things about Chuck and uh, a lot of people have told me to go see different shows and like some that have been around for a while. But uh, like uh, the amount of people that said you gotta come see this was overwhelming. So here we are and I'm excited because they said it's the funniest and best new musical on Broadway. Flat out hilarious, even they say. And uh, I mean, it's got a nice amount of people with some really nice, uh, like Tony winning awards. Oh yeah, Jack O'Brien right here. Tony award winning director from uh, Hairspray. I like that. I'm gonna keep this because it is my very first playbill and uh, obviously I'm not gonna be able to record the show so I'll just let you guys know uh, what I thought afterwards and uh, yeah it's time to head on in my friend Dustin has seen this before and he told me I would love it and when I asked him like what is it about and he said it's about corn and uh, leaving a small town and going to a big city for the first time and I was like what yeah it's literally that corn and uh, going from a small town to a big city but add a romantic comedy to it and now I'm interested wow guys these are really nice seats isn't it nice? This is cozy. Look at that. Holy moly. Yo, I love that. It was amazing. The show was fantastic. The cast, literally, I was captivated the whole time. This, oh, I'm gonna remember this forever and now I can't wait to go see more Broadway plays. I cannot even wait. Like, that was my very first taste of Broadway, like, in a big setting. And now, I, I, I loved it. 
I absolutely loved it. It was way more than what I thought it was gonna be. And this show like hit on so many levels, even an amazing ending. And I just loved it. The, the storytelling, the singing, the comedy, it was all there, total package. I mean, I mean, I've never seen Broadway before, but for my first one, I would highly suggest checking it out. That's my review on a Broadway. Go see it. And now we have made it back to our hotel, and uh, I still can't get over the fact that I'm staying at the plaza. I'm staying at the plaza. That's insane. Now that we have made it back to the plaza, I kind of want to settle in, get all comfy, and uh, maybe eat some snacks and hang out in my bathrobe and watch Home Alone 2. I mean, I'm at the plaza and I've kind of been saying this is what I'm going to do like the whole entire day. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head on in. But wow, once again, I got to say, sh shucked amazing. The whole cast, I absolutely love it. I couldn't ask for a better first Broadway like play to go to. When I got back up to my room, I looked around and I was like, wait a second, my room looks different. And then I realized that while I was gone, someone came in and like set everything up. It was crazy. Like they opened up my slippers and they put them at the end of the bed for where I'm going to be. Like when I wake up, they put water on the nightstand. That water was not there before, I don't think, with a cup. So like if I need water in the middle of the night, they closed all of the blinds. Like all of the blinds are closed so the sun doesn't peek in. And then they laid out the bath like mats and stuff like that and set towels so that I'm ready to take a shower. And like the same thing with the bath, like everything's all ready to go. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm speechless. It's the moment I've been looking forward to all day. We got all cozy in our bathrobe. Uh, I'm about to put on Home Alone 2. We're going to order some room service and get the Home Alone Sunday and just chill out and relax. Watching Home Alone 2 at the Plaza Hotel. This is literally the definition of living your best life. And I am just unbelievably so happy and honored that I'm able to do this and just thankful. So <laughs> let's start the movie. I just ordered some room service, but take a look. We've got the snacks. I'm gonna have some cashews. I'm gonna have some gummy bears. Oh yes. Oh, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, I'll take those too. And oh, spa trail mix. Those look good. I don't know, what about the, oh, might as well get, you know what? Let's take them all. I don't wanna eat them all. I, want, I just wanna live my best life. I hope they're not expensive. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 don't wanna drop any. <sighs> the room service has arrived and holy moly, it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got, but I also found out if you wanna watch Home Alone 2, uh, they will actually uh, bring you a DVD player and a copy of Home Alone 2 instead of ordering it on demand. So that's what I did. So I have to wait for, uh, for them to bring me the DVD player. But look at this. I can't wait to go over what I got. It looks like, uh, oh, let me show you the Sunday first. I got the Home Alone 2 Sunday. I just don't want it to melt before I uh, get to watch the movie. So I might put it in the refrigerator. And uh, let me see. Oh, right here. I got the 14 ounce prime of ribeye steak and look at those beautiful char marks on there. I am so excited. It also came with a bread service. Look at that bread. Oh, this bread looks phenomenal. Holy moly. And then I also got a side of asparagus. There we go. And then what's this down here? Oh, a little house salad. So it comes with a salad. And then uh, I got uh, orange juice and some Pellegrino. So let's dig in. I've been fortunate enough to do some pretty amazing things in my life. And every time I think I'm going to say this might be one of the best moments in my life, I always end up finding another moment where it is at the moment 
the best moment in my life. And I feel like this is one of those moments. I can't even believe this is happening. Here we go. We're going to hit play. And it's a DVD player. Look at this. You can actually hit the scene selections and watch the trailer. Wow. And a happy new year. Now this is a vacation. I've got the ribeye steak, the asparagus, the sundae, some fresh squeezed orange juice. And now it's time to dig in. Cheers. Oh my lord, we're getting to the exact moment in the movie where I'm reliving what I've always wanted to do. Look at... Except for he's sitting on the bed. Oh wait! Two scoops, sir? Two, make it three. I'm not driving. Two, make it three. I'm not driving. I'm literally eating the same exact Sunday as Kevin McAllister right now. You were here last night too, wasn't you? I was singing with the monkey last night. She was not. She was smooching with your brother. And you were smooching with my brother. See? Don't give me that. You've been smooching with everybody. And a happy new year. And with that, we are done here tonight. What an amazing adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'm going to be at New York Comic Con for the next couple of days. Saturday, like I said, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then Masha Isley, I'll be there uh, 11 p.m. too. And then um, traveling somewhere special. So I don't know if I'll be making a video or another video in New York. Uh, but if I do, I'll release it. If not, uh, you'll see something else pop up that will definitely be interesting but uh any who's once again thank you guys honestly i couldn't be here without you so hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye